Welcome everyone to Glow Salt Circuits. My name is Caitlin and I work in teen services at the Heritage Library. Today we will explore electrical circuits using glue and salt. Here are the list of materials you will need. You'll need a big sheet of paper to protect uh, the surface that you are using. Next, you'll need two sheets of cardstock or construction paper. The thicker the paper, the better. Also, we'll need five millimeter LED bulbs. You can find those on Amazon. We'll need Elmer's glow in the dark glue, whatever color you prefer. A marker, a double A battery pack. You'll notice there's two wires. The red one is the positive, the black one is the negative. You'll also need two double A batteries as well to power them. And you'll need these alligator clips. So I used red and black to signify, you know, the negative and the positive. So the black will go to the black wire and the red will go to the red wire. You'll need to know this later for the instructions. Last but not least, salt. We'll need that. That's going to bind our circuit together. So now for the instructions, go ahead and take your two pieces of construction paper and line them up and put a small gap in between. Next, you'll take your marker and go ahead and draw your design. You'll want to start at the top middle and then end at the bottom middle. As long as it ends at the top and the bottom in the middle, you'll be fine. So I kind of just drew a little eight there. Make it simple so you guys can understand. Once we got them lined up, we're going to trace over our design with the glue. I chose blue, a combo of blue and pink. You can use just blue or just pink, whatever you want. It's important here to make sure that your lines are nice and thick. It'll make putting the LED light and the paper clips in much easier. Now that we've got the glue down, we'll want to go ahead and take our paper clips and put them at the bottom middle. Right down there at the bottom. So see, I'm going to take a marker and I'm going to mark the positive and negative side on there so it makes it easier to remember when you hook up the alligator clips and which way the LED light goes at the top. I'm adding just a little bit more glue on top of the paper clips to make sure that they're in there. So now go ahead and choose your LED bulb, whatever color you want. I went ahead and decided I was gonna do clear, just a regular plain LED bulb. So you'll notice that there's two pins on the LED bulb. There's a long one and a short one. The long one is going to be your positive and the short one is going to be your negative. So you need to kind of Make them do the splits, and you're gonna line the positive side. You see I rotated it so the positive side's on the right, lining up with the right side, and the negative is lining up with the negative side. Go ahead and push down and insert it in the glue. Make sure it's in there pretty good. Now, next we'll need our battery pack. So remember that red is positive, and black is negative. So that's how we're gonna wire it up. So next, we'll take our alligator clips. I'm starting with the positive side and connecting it to the paper clip. Sometimes it can be a little bit difficult. As long as the paper clip is touching the glue, your circuit will work. It doesn't have to be perfectly flat. Once you have everything hooked up, you can go ahead and sprinkle your salt on top of the glue. I just put some in my hand and sprinkled it over. So as you're sprinkling the salt over, and if you notice that your circuit is not lighting up, there is a couple of troubleshooting things you can do. If it's not powering up right away, you can go ahead and add more glue to thicken your lines, which you'll see that I had to do 
because my circuit wasn't turning on right away. So I kind of went in, in with the glue and thickened the lines. Once you thicken the lines up with some glue, you have to put more salt on top. It, if after that it hasn't lit up, you can go ahead and check your alligator clips to make sure they're on correctly. Check your pins on the LED light, make sure that they're fully in the glue. Make sure you have your LED light in correctly, the positive side touching the positive and the negative touching the negative. Or the room may be too bright. You may not notice that your light is lighting up because the room is too bright. So you can try turning off the lights as well. So a little bit of science behind the Elmer's glue. So it glows thanks to the process called luminescence, which is caused by chemicals called luminescent phosphors in the glue. For this glow to work, it needs to charge in the light. You'll have the brightest glow when you first turn off the lights, then it'll fade. So you can recharge the glow by simply turning on the lights again for a minute. So if your glue is not glowing in the dark, quite as bright as you want, you can go ahead and leave it in the light for a little bit and then go ahead and turn the lights off and you'll see it glow. So as you can see, my circuit finally turned on and this is possible because salt and water are conductive and so you need to add salt to your glue to power your circuit and the glue has water in it. So the electrical current can travel from your battery pack along your circuit, eventually turning on your LED light. The current travels from salt molecule to salt molecule and works best if the salt is wet. This is why you lay down the glue and add more salt and then if you need more glue, go ahead and put it on top, but you can't stop there. You have to put another line of salt. So that salt is what's helping that current travel along the water and the glue. Now that you have successfully powered your circuit, that concludes the end of this virtual program. I hope to see you guys again. Make sure you check out our further reading. Some of those books have more electrical circuit activities for you guys to check out and also make sure you research a little bit more into electricity and circuits. You might find that you're very interested in that. Thank you once again and have a great day.